Welcome to the Two Chicks Homestead Podcast. We are the Two Chicks. Yay! Hi, I'm Nate. And I'm Erin, and we talk about homesteading and living on a small piece of land. All right, everyone, welcome to episode 102. Three. 103. 103. 103. All right, 103. <laughs> uh, it's July 10th, 2024, So, and we uh, finally got some stuff coming out of the garden. Yes, we had our first zucchinis. First of many zucchinis. Mm-hmm. Was that what was in? That's what was in the pasta sauce. Okay, yes. that, that was actually very good tonight. Yeah. So, I, I I like it when you do that. It's I don't know if it's if it's milk that you put in it. No, cream cheese. Cream cheese. Okay. Yes. Just a little, I don't know, like a third, maybe a quarter of the cream cheese block, mm-hmm. just mixed in with the store bought tomato sauce. That's okay. And uh, yeah, it gives it this nice, rich, creamy. Because I used to add butter and milk, and it just didn't have that, like, heavy, creamy, Mm -hmm. but this works out perfect. Yeah, I like it. Whatever we have pasta, that's, like, my favorite I know, yeah. It just gives it something else. Yeah, and the sausage is good that you threw in there, too. Yes. That's our sausage, right? It's our sausage, yes. It was Italian sausage, but I don't like the Italian seasoning that we got this last time, so we got to go back to the regular stuff. Okay. Yeah, we'll go dig in. We could probably go look at Roking or... Yeah, I think that's what it was. Oh, okay. No, no, no. That's the stuff oh. I liked was from oh, Roking. okay. Yeah, I don't remember who that is. If that's lem? La- lem? That I might think, be lem seasoning. So. Okay. It's so. like the 10-pound bag. Or yeah. not the 10-pound bag, but the bag for 10 pounds of sausage. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to go try it out. Yeah, but of course this one was, you know, cheaper and you got double and it's like, well, now I know why. Yeah, I mean, but, yeah, try it and yep. see if it'll work. So. Yeah, it doesn't have a punch of Italian mm-hmm. taste to it. They have to doctor it up a little bit. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's a, that was a good dinner, good mm-hmm. zucchini. Yep. I liked it. It's nice mm-hmm. to finally see the garden doing something. Yes. Well, it's always, you know, it takes forever. And then all of a sudden you go out there and it's like, oh, yeah. there's a bunch of stuff. I don't have any beans yet. I see flowers. Um, I see little cucumbers. Mm-hmm. The peppers have a long way to go. They always seem like they have a yeah. long way to go. Um, tomatoes, lots of green tomatoes. I've got Berkeley and oh, I can never remember what it's called. Purple. Something. Cherokee purple. Cherokee purple. Yeah. Um, and then a bunch of cherries. Okay. And then you went crazy with the DE a couple days ago, too. Yeah, I've got these little green bugs demolishing my bean leaves yeah and then the flowers on the pumpkins and so i yeah i I dumped a bunch of diatomaceous earth on it it seems to have helped but i did go ahead and order some stuff called eight yeah and i don't particularly love using this stuff but i don't want to lose everything Mm -hmm. and it's been a really bad bug year there's yes squash bugs everywhere I've got eggs on, like, every leaf. So my brother swears by it, so I'm like, I'm just going to do it because why grow all this stuff if it's not even going to survive? Spend all this time and money. So I want to try and reclaim my stuff. So Cool. I mean, it's, we, we got to do what we got to do. We back up to 300 acres, 400 acres of monocrops. No, I know. So, I know it's not organic, but yeah. it's it's better than the store. So, mm-hmm. Absolutely. It and is what it is. We fi- finally finished up our chicken project. Yes. So we have the fencing. Yep. Fencing's the, done. The new run looks really good. Yep. We got the new run built. It's 10 feet wide, 25 feet long. And it doesn't look as wonky I know. as the other one. I know. Because it's actually done out of one inch PVC or one inch EMT conduit. Yeah. So it is heavy duty, not going to go anywhere. I still got to mm-hmm. take it down to the ground. Yeah. But I'm not worried about it blowing away. Mm-hmm. Um, I found all the pipe connectors. It's put together like a one of those 10 by 20 carports. Mm hmm. Everything all clicks in together. There's quarter-inch bolts that hold it together. And then we threw a 50 by 50 net over the top of it. Mm-hmm. So it's a, the net's a little big. So, yeah. But it works. Yep. 
it would be nice. I will admit it would be nice if it was a little thicker. But it, I mean, okay, so we've had chickens try and go through it. Yes. And their heads do go through the opening, mm -hmm. but it hasn't torn no. or anything. No. And they are able to get it their head out. I panicked the first time I thought it, <laughs> this chicken was a goner. <laughs> yeah, one of them hung it, tried to uh, hang itself. <laughs> so, yeah, they're still getting used to it because you look out there and you can't even see the netting. No, no. So they're definitely getting used to remembering that it's there. Yeah, but they know it's there because when you let them out first thing in the morning. I think that's because that's always their path. Yeah. Or that that, that was how they did it. They went out the door mm -hmm. and didn't even really try to go through, you know, yeah. the fencing. That was Walk there. straight through. The but yeah, <laughs> tonight at, with leftover pasta that one of the girls didn't finish eating. I walked out there. It was starting to rain. We're starting to get some of the hurricane yeah. stuff. So I'm like, maybe I'll just walk with this bowl of pasta into the run because now we can walk into it. I'm I not know. Gonna decapitate myself. It's six <laughs> six and a half foot tall now. So it's kind of nice. So I walked in. I'm like, oh, they'll follow me like the Pied Piper. And I turned around, saw chickens, and then just kind of threw it into the run. Well, half of them went on the other side. <laughs> So they're trying to go through the netting. They're all getting stuck, all flopping around. I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> trying to, you know, corral them around the door mm -hmm. to get to the snacks before everything is gone. Mm -hmm. it, they're in there now. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. I I like the new ses setup mm. because it's 100% covered. Yeah. Like, nothing is getting in there that can kill the chickens. Right. Short of a coyote right. or it's a raccoon. Not, they still get locked into right. the built coop run yeah. every night. Yeah, nothing's getting in yeah. there unless but, we leave the door open. Right. So, which we have done. We. We have done. I, I, I'm <laughs> leaving it at we and not pointing fingers. <laughs> so, um, but that's hardware cloth that's got it. 24 inch apron all the way around it that's staked down so nothing's digging in underneath mm. that thing. Yeah. So that is as soon as it gets dark I see them all in there I go shut the door and I lock it and we're good to go. Yeah. And then the outside run is strictly for keeping the chickens contained so they're not running around the yard and I can mow and right. make projects and not have not worry about one of them sneaking away. Right. So. Um, but yeah, we did... We have since left them out in the yard and we went shopping. Mm -hmm. So we have left the house um, and they were fine. It's it's really nice. It's almost like getting to know them again mm -hmm. because it's like this... For years, you just kind of look at them from behind the fence mm -hmm. because we couldn't really go in the run without you know hunched over right it was only like three and a half feet tall yeah so we never really got to like be around them mm -hmm. so it's been really neat you know just kind of sitting out there and having them come up to you and mm -hmm. looking out and seeing them on the patio and the other day i standing in the kitchen i'm like oh my god what is that knocking like there's an animal you know, of course my brain is like mm -hmm. there's an animal in the wall well, it was the chickens pecking at the siding. <laughs> Eating the bugs. bugs. Yeah, so I was like, okay. And every time I look out and see something, you know, run across the yard, it's like, oh my God, what is that? Oh, yeah, it's a chicken. chicken. <laughs> and they were underneath the rabbits today, which they was were. the first time. They were in the rabbit so, um, hallway, whatever yep. you'd call that. So it was funny the first time the rabbits ever saw the chickens because they can't see them. But the chickens could see the hutch. Yeah. And they finally worked their way over there a couple days ago and, like, spooked one of the rabbits. And then they all came running back to the coop to get away from it. Yeah. Because it made a noise and, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, that was the first time I'd seen any rabbits in anywhere near the hutch. Mm -hmm. There yeah. are chickens near the hutch. Yeah, we were walking back from the pond and it was like, oh, they're in there. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, no, it's 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 fun. They're super happy. There's less fighting, mm -hmm. not no fighting. It's um, a lot less. It's a lot less. Because we've got some real meanies out there that will be going away soon. Yeah, and it's the older, it's definitely the older ladies. Yeah. 
So and they don't hardly lay no like at all. And that was another thing too was for like the first three days, I think I was letting them out into the yard like twelve thirty, one o'clock in the afternoon, mm-hmm. just to not, you know, just to kind of give them some time. So that was usually after they would lay mm-hmm. mostly, but now we've been letting them out. I let them out when I get up, and it's you know seven thirty ish. And they're still going in and laying in the nesting boxes, so that's nice. Good, good. Yeah. Because that was one thing. It was like, oh, God, where are we going to find? I'm sure sometime we will find an egg somewhere. Oh, I'm sure. Just because yeah. sometimes they were in the run, too. Mm-hmm. And I think it's going to come down to, I don't want to let them out of that enclosure because it's still semi-dark out, and I don't want them running No, the yeah, air. no, that's fine. So yeah, because you don't know. I leave them in there, and they're good to go. Yeah, and it's going to change with the seasons, too. I mean, right. in the winter, I don't know if we'll even let them out in the yard. If it's full of, full of snow, they're not even going to go Yeah, they there. don't even come out of the coop. Out of yeah. the coop. They're the inside run, right. the little run, But if there's snow on the ground. If it's, you know, not snowing, they probably would like to come out and eat some grass, mm-hmm. I guess. I don't know. We'll have to see. Let them loose in the garden, too, and let them clean that up. Well, yeah, at the end. So. Yeah, because we have the fencing around the garden. Mm-hmm. So they can't get in there. There's little doors to get in there. And it's kind of funny to be back there and they're all just kind of standing there like, how did you get through there? <laughs> yeah, because that fencing is pretty close to what it used to be Yeah. for them. And it's a little bit shorter. I think we had five foot tall um, chicken wire for their original Yeah, that kind of draped over. Yeah. So it kind of was harder to jump over. And this the stuff we're using around the yard is four foot tall like plastic fence but it's kind of nice because they don't really have any reason you know the only time they come up was if we're coming up from the pond they all come running to the edge that's because the the snack snack lady's coming (laughs) but otherwise they don't really mess with it Mm -hmm. it's funny when you go walking out that back door (laughs) they come running and just walking through the yard with this bowl of pasta it's like i'm stepping on them and they're Mm -hmm. going in between my legs yeah because they know you. They know me. And they see me, and it's like, uh, F that guy. Yeah. He makes all the noise all the time. <laughs> but no, so. it's it's fun. The girls are starting to pick them up. Yeah. And, you know. The, the oldest got yeah. to hold one a couple times today. So, and we do have the new chicks that I'm kind of, they're very skittish <laughs> in, in the brooder still. They'll get better. But I'm hoping that since they'll kind of grow up with us in the yard Mm -hmm. because the girls were like why can't we pick them up and it's like well they're not even used to being around us either yeah you know we didn't used to go in their space Mm -hmm. so they're still getting used to they're used to you grabby hands yeah so um so yeah the young ones i'm kind of hoping will be friendly you know sit out there and have them jump up on your lap or something i don't know yeah we'll see but it's been fun Mm -hmm. and then we gotta figure out yeah, it's going to be a mess, as usual. Just kind of keeping them learning how to lay and go yeah, into the coop. And but I, I, we, we have the the door on the run, or the yeah. door on the coop right now. I mean, we've done this how many times now? And every time, it's like, oh, God. Yeah. I don't even want to do it. Yeah. But it's, it's relatively easy now, because mm-hmm. now we know at night... And now they have all the room to yeah. go do whatever. Yeah. So they'll figure it out. Yep. We just need to do it a little bit earlier than last time. Yes. Because we like got them in the coop and then they like laid like almost that week. Yeah. <laughs> so we got to go back and do some calendar math. Figure out what we're doing. Yeah. I know one of the guys in the ham radio club messaged me today. His are 17 weeks. Okay. So I think he's got, I think we're 12 weeks. Yeah, I don't even remember when we got them. Was it June? Was it, no, April, May? It's gotta be April or May, I think. Yeah, I don't even remember. We'll have to go back and look. Yeah. It wasn't March, I know that. No. It was we already warm. Yeah, we weren't even sure we were going to actually get them. And it's like, oh, we'll just go get them. Oh, yeah, because the Royal King was having a sale. We were going to wait till August. But then Real King was having the sale. Yep. No. Got some cool ones. Yep. And so. so the older ones will 
go to the next phase of yeah one of them almost, almost volunteered for tribute yeah <laughs> we had one almost follow us in the house I don't want to be doing that in the house you don't have to do it in the house. You're just the one that comes in the house. Well, I know. But... <laughs> and then you go meet the hopper popper. <laughs> but the little one requested to uh, yes. do it the other way that we did the one. Which we... we'll do, because that was actually kind of <laughs> fun. I mean, now we can just kind of pitch it over the fence and let it run, run around the neighbor's yard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it probably, I mean, not that we're going to do it this way, but we're really just going to probably use the breast, liver, and Yeah, breast, liver, and maybe legs. Eggs. Legs. Legs? Yeah, like drumsticks. Oh, yeah, maybe. So, we'll see what we get. I mean, it may not be much. Yeah. So, they're layers. They do feel a little small. They're not like the Cornish crosses. Well, right. Yeah, nothing is like the Cornish crosses. Yeah. And they're not dual purpose. No. It's barred rock... Um, princess something. Something. Some sapphire gem and something else. <laughs> no, sapphire. Wasn't it sapphire? Oh, yeah, sapphire gems, yeah. And then we got the blue laced Wyandots, the new ones. Right. So. Yeah. Which those aren't going away yet. No, those are still itty bitty. Mm. I don't even have fully feather, feathered oh. out yet. Oh, the, oh, I thought you were talking about our old ladies. No, the old ladies I know are. Oh, yeah, we have Easter eggers. Yeah, and we have Easter eggs, blue, blue lace Wyandots. Red or something. Something, whatever. <laughs> anyway. It's the cool looking Wyandots, not the normal orange ones. Yeah. So. Which they're neat looking too, mm-hmm. So. And then, uh, yeah, we let them, let them roam around the yard without us being here. We, we ran over to go, uh, go see Runnings. Yeah, we went to the Runnings store, which I know Amy has up in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Um, it was over in Rochelle, which isn't far. No. Um, it was okay. It's not far when you go there directly, well, but if you make a wrong turn yeah. and it's 14 miles out and 14 miles back, yeah, it's, yeah. But even then, it didn't feel that far. No. no. But it, it was okay. I mean, I'm not sure I would run back. I might stop, you know, if we have need to go somewhere, yeah. get out of the house, just go see how it is. We bought a couple pajama bottoms and sandals. We got chick feed because we needed it anyway. Yeah, and I got some tent steaks. And gloves, yeah. gardening gloves. But it wasn't like, wow, this is amazing. Yeah, it was uh, It, it was kind of like an in-between of tractor supply and rural cake. No, I'd say, well, I'd say farm and fleet and rural king. Just because tractor supply is so different. Yeah, but it was it was smaller like a tractor supply. Yeah, it was half it, it. It was half the size of our rural king. Really? I I would think so. Depth wise, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it was just there was nothing super exciting about it. Mm-hmm. But it was okay. I mean, yeah. if you live near it and you, I mean, I would use it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if it was ten minutes down the road, right? We'd be going there over rural king. Yeah. But rural and, king's twenty minutes down the road, and they have everything. Yeah. Um, and our tractor supply is in St. Charles, huh. and it's in, like, a super congested area. Yeah. And now there's a tractor supply opening in Morrison, mm-hmm. which is almost to the river, but almost easier to get to. Yeah. Because I would, I mean, when that opens, shoot, it's right on Route 30. I'll stop there. Yeah. Going and coming from the river. Yeah. Rather than spend 45 minutes trying to get to... The one yeah. in St. Charles. Yeah, it's almost that's almost the same. That's not easy to get. No. Where they a, have the one in St. Charles is not easy to get to for it's us. It's really goofy. So you got to like turn in like a mile ahead of it. I mean, I guess if you were going to Costco anyway, it's kind of down the street, but it's still yeah. just in a weird, it's a weird intersection that it's... Mm. Yeah, yeah, you got you got to know where it is because yeah. there's no entrance. Direct entrance going east, but there's an entrance entrance going west. Yeah. So you like have to figure out where the lights are, and they're like a mile away. Yeah. And take the back ro- back road to get into the place. Yeah, it's really weird. So. But I do like. I mean, I like going there for like mugs. Yeah. So it's not even a place that I even like. It's the go-to. It's the decor. It's yeah. the Instagram homesteader yes. decor, decor stuff. I mean, it's they've got cute signs and yeah. you it's know the Instagram homesteaders. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I don't go very often just because it's such a pain. 
to get to that it's like, do I really need to go? No, I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it, it makes sense that they open the tractor supply in St. Charles because... That's the people that would jump there. Yes, St. Charles is a very uppity town. Yeah. So, it makes sense. It does. So. But yeah, it was a, it was a nice drive and we are like five minutes away from Chicago Skydive, so we went to go see Carlos. Mm -hmm. uh, he's life at terminal velocity. We've interviewed him before. And he's always stopping here at the house, drops stuff off. Yeah. So I, got a, I got a whole bunch of uh, mint. I know. And he, yeah, he drops stuff off for a field day. Yeah. So and then we got a chance to sneak out there, get some stuff for him, or go hang out and uh, say hi for uh, five, ten minutes before he had to go yeah. do a tandem and then decided to come home. Yep. So. And it's fun to go there and watch the skydivers. It is. And it was the night they were doing the fireworks. Yeah, we didn't stay for the fireworks. No, because I don't. The we girls, didn't plan on it. Yeah, we weren't. We weren't prepared. Yeah, it was hot. It was hot. It's in the sun. None of us had hats, and it's like, "Hey, Carlos, how you yeah. doing?" And we're gonna go head home. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yep. Um, then we also got the outhouse stained. Yep. We're not completely done, but a lot of it is done. Yeah. We still have um, a little bit of spraying to do all along the back mm -hmm. and do the sides, a little, another coat. Yeah. I think, well, then the floor. Yep. Yeah, so there's not much. Well, no. Maybe another gallon and a half. So. Yeah, may, maybe not. I mean, I haven't even opened up the new other one yet. Yeah. So I think we'd probably we'll have enough. Cool. But yeah, I know you're working hard at that, and it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I just need to get the netting or the yeah. screening on it. Yep. And uh, I went to go take pictures for somebody of it inside. And I'm in there, you know, moving stuff around because I wanted to show that we had the mm -hmm. storage. And uh, Chipmunk was in there. So that was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Chipmunks are all over the place. I know, but it, you just don't expect it. I know. And lots of spiders. So I think I need to spray some, like home defense or something around it yeah i think once i um seal the bottom yeah it'll help a little bit yeah there's lots of spiders in there yeah because i didn't want to seal it until we get the stain on because yeah. that's gonna go over the top of the stain and it can't be painted with the stain mm. so it'll be clear you'll see it clear as day but it's clear yeah so I think it'll turn out real nice. Yeah, it looks nice. And then the neighbor's going to use that for his pavilion that he's building. Yep. Which it'll, is... It'll... It'll match. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, that will be nice to have that. So... Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, other than that, not a whole lot. Kind of slow this week. Mm hmm We got some projects done. It was 4th of July. I think we worked every day for 4th of July. And then we took the rabbits down to Peoria. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, go see uh, Joe and Angie. So, got those guys dropped off and yep. three less miles to feed here. Yeah. Make room <laughs> for the next one that's coming. Yep. So, I got to get with uh, um, Sorrell's because he's got a really cool litter of rabbits. I'm going to go pick one out. Mm -hmm. So, not going to say what it is yet because they look really cool yeah. and I don't know which one it's going to be. Yep. <laughs> so, it'll be a little bit of color coming. Yes. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of color over there. So, kind of nice. But I think that's pretty much it for the week. I don't think we got anything else, right? I don't think so. All right, we will catch you guys next time. See you on the homestead where something is always growing, eating, or cooking. <laughs>